Seven traditional art forms in India and its in-depth meaning. Communication is one of the best ways to express our feelings, emotions and information. Art is a form of expression that tells an in-depth story itself. Paintings and arts define the culture and tradition of our nation. We see many paintings that decorate the places with their vibrant color and pattern, but we don't know the intrinsic meaning of the art. try to understand the in-depth meaning of the art. Every color is the hidden meaning of feelings sketched on the canvas. Indians have magnificently created the paintings and each painting will tell you a different kind of story with strong morals. Let's check out the best Indian paintings of all time. Madhubani Paintings, Bihar Folk Art Madhubani paintings are 2500 years old and the history is not clear about the origin of this art form but it's said that King Janaka Father of Sita asked an artist to capture the wonderful moment of his daughter's wedding with Lord Ram. It originated in Bihar and is also known as Mithila art. Women started to create these paintings during special occasions, festivals or ceremonies on the walls and floors of their homes. Normally people use their fingers and sticks in the modern days to paint. For colouring the paints, instead of using artificial colours, they use natural colours like charcoal for black, turmeric for yellow, blue from the indigo plants, red from sandalwood, and so on. This is how you can find Madhubani paintings. Normally, these characters are outlined with pointed noses and bulge fish-like eyes, and it includes the natural environment like sun, moon, lotus, animals, fish, and bamboo trees. Next, we come to Warli paintings, Maharashtra tribal art. Warli paintings are 2000 years old, and it's said that the painting was not recognized until the 1970s. Chivit Soma Mashe, the father of modern Warli art, and his son Badu Mashe gave rebirth to this ritual art and started to paint it from the artistic perspective. The painting shapes have lost their own language and meanings. The circle indicates sun and moon, triangle indicates conical trees and mountains, square represents a human invention, and the rest of the canvas will be portrayed with trees, animals, branches, fishing, farming, and hunting. They use white pigments made with rice paste and water to make the painting and gum for binding. Bamboo sticks are used as paint brushes to give proper texture to the painting. In the modern era, artists are using paper and cloth for Warli painting. These paintings look more beautiful on walls, accessories and home decors. How to find Warli painting? The unique fact about Warli painting is that you will not find any straight lines. Instead, they will use dots circles, triangles, and crooked lines for portraying their characters. Coming to Kalighat paintings of West Bengal. Kalighat paintings originated in the 19th century and was given a souvenir for people who visited Kalighat Kali Temple. The painting projects the power and importance of the human bond. This painting represents the mythology, culture, social economic issues, and religious characters of India. In the olden days, they used natural colors like black from burnt carbon, yellow from turmeric, blue from the indigo powder, red from peepal tree bark, and white from rice paste for painting. The most important aspect of this painting is that it's very simple and easy to understand the illustrations, can be very easily regenerated via lithography. This is how you can find Kalighat paintings. The painting speaks about the reality of life, today's scenario, lifestyles, social economics, histories, and untold truths. The bold lines and vibrant colors make the art lovers get more attracted to this art. Far paintings from Rajasthan. The unique story and origin make far painting more popular and loved by many artistic people. The colors used in this far paintings have their specific meaning. Artists use red, brown, black, yellow, blue, and orange for illustrating the character and to outline the paintings. Each color represents specific purposes. Yellow color to draw the outline, clothing and ornaments. The character limbs are marked using the orange color. The blue color used to draw curtains and water and green for illustrating the trees and vegetation. Finally, black to draw the outline. 
For architectural structures, they used brown and red for drawing flags and royal clothes. The paintings illustrated human characters in ancient stories and the speciality of this painting is that they use clothes for painting. This is how you can find far paintings. The colors used in these paintings are extracted from the vegetables and plants. Eventually, it's painted in cloth. Kond paintings. Kond paintings originated from the tribe named Kond. This community is one of the largest tribal communities in India. The government of India stepped forward to preserve this art for future generations. Kond refers to the green mountain. They use bright and vibrant colors such as yellow, red and blue. The colors are naturally extracted from charcoal leaves, cow dung, colored sap and colored soil. This is how you can find Gond paintings. Gond paintings are easier to recognize with their tartan line technique. These paintings are painted on mud walls. Normally, the modern paintings of Gond are painted on canvas, which is easier to transport and hang on walls. Due to the lack of natural colors, the artists use poster colors to paint the canvas. Most of the ancient Kerala wall paintings are seen in temples. The god and goddesses are painted by the artists on the floor using artificial colors. The paintings have been drawn in modern styles by Raja Ravi Verma, who is known as the modern Indian painter. They use brushes, gum, pigments, etc. for their mural artworks, which are made up of natural materials. The most used pigments are white, yellow, blue, red, saffron red, saffron yellow, and golden yellow. This is how you can find Kerala paintings. You'll find their traditions, culture, god, and goddesses in their way of the paintings. Lastly, we come to Tanjur paintings. Tanjur paintings are considered the best paintings ever. The gold foiling and the beauty of the goddess are well displayed in their paintings. They are famous for their precious stones, wooden planks, natural colors, natural dyes, golden foils, rich colors, and the details of the characters. These paintings are mostly seen in the Hindu houses and the best paintings of Tanjore are displayed in the Saraswati Mahal library. They use stones, pearls, glass as ornaments, and they use bright vibrant colors like red, yellow, green, and blue in their paintings to illuminate in the dark. This is how you can find the Njore paintings. The golden foil, vibrant color, and detailed sketches in the wooden plank will help to identify the Njore paintings. Our traditions are always with us through the art form. So teach our future generation and preserve it with pride. If you are interested to know more about India, don't forget to subscribe to Originally Indian. Like and share this video and share your thoughts in the comment section below. Originally Indian, a platform to share, discover, discuss, explore and experience the incredible India.